This lecture is going to be a brief lecture uh, based upon some of the work from my graduate studies, uh, primarily published in the Journal of Solid State Circuits in June and September of 2009. And it focuses on what happens if we use a small supply inductor rather than a choke uh, for the drain inductance. Typically, the drain inductor is implemented as an RF choke, uh, meaning uh, that it has a nearly infinite uh, impedance uh, at high frequencies. But we can nominally make the inductance have a susceptance that is bigger than zero. Now, for a class E network to behave as a class E network, it still needs a net susceptance at the drain to be equal to B opt. And that means that we can add some additional capacitance in order to make that happen. Nominally, the total susceptance at the drain would be equal to the susceptance of the uh, extrinsic capacitance, C EXT, plus the susceptance of C drain, which is the drain parasitic capacitance of the transistor, less any susceptance that we see in the choke. Now, if we had an ideal choke, again, B sub L would be equal to zero. Now, the rest of the design is the same as it was before. Uh, we might have an antenna impedance of 50 ohms uh, going through a matching network to be presented to the drain of the transistor. And the only thing that we have to worry about is that at the drain, uh, that looking uh, into this network, we would be presenting R opt plus JX opt to the drain of the transistor. And then we would have our class E design. Now, there are a couple of advantages to using the uh, non-choke based inductor. And the first one is that it reduces the maximum uh, drain voltage. In a class E network, you might recall that the maximum drain voltage can swing as high as 3.6 times the supply voltage. But if we use a, a finite inductance rather than a choke, we can reduce this voltage. In fact, in the papers above, uh, I note that the supply voltage or the drain voltage can be reduced to less than or equal to approximately 2.5 times VDD. And again, this is less than 3.6 times VDD. So the question is, what is the cost of using a finite supply inductor instead of a choke? Well, when the switch is closed, uh, we have basically the supply network being shorted to ground through the inductor. So here we have that the drain current would be equal to one over the inductance times the integral from zero to half of the period, uh, which is the period of the switch closure times the supply voltage. In other words, the voltage across the inductor DT. And so we can see immediately the impact of using a smaller inductor instead of a choke. And the primary drawback is that we're going to have a higher peak current. So in other words, we're putting more current stress on the device rather than voltage stress. But generally this is acceptable for devices uh, using more current rather than voltage because we can always make the, voltage, uh, the, the device width wider, uh, whereas we can't increase the voltage tolerance because that's primarily driven by the thickness of the oxide of the gate. So we're going to stop there on class E networks, and in the next lecture, I will start talking about class F networks.